The crucial thing we have in mind when making a Subaru is to have a safe car that can be driven in secure confidence in any country. To achieve that, we simulate a variety of situations in our quest for safety from a variety of perspectives. The Forester is shipped all over the world to a variety of countries. Accordingly, we did testing that assumed all manner of weather conditions to make it a car that can be used with confidence in any environment. A car needs to be a partner you can rely on regardless of the situation. That's because a car alone could be the last thing you can count on the worse conditions become. Here you see our environment laboratory in which we artificially produce temperature changes. We can create a world where the temperature ranges from 50 degrees Celsius to 40 below. We conducted tests to observe the car's performance by driving under contrastingly high and low temperatures. We continuously shine a special solar lamp to create a similar situation as to when a car has been left out for a long time under the sweltering sun. The outside temperature is pushed up to 40 degrees Celsius, raising the temperature in the cabin to 60 degrees. The car is driven under these conditions to evaluate its cooling performance. The radiator is hit with blasts of hot air. The conditions are difficult for both the engine and the air conditioner. Then we switch it all, creating a below freezing world where sprays of water freeze in a flash. The temperature is then lowered to 30 below, freezing everything. The engine was called upon to start right away, even under those conditions, and the defroster to operate normally. The vehicle was placed in a brutally cold environment and ran at 100 kilometers per hour the temperature created by the chilling wind stood at minus 67 degrees Celsius. The conditions were such that a human could no longer remain in such a place. Even so, the engine had to continue to run without a hitch and the interior had to remain comfortable. Testing also took place outside of the environment laboratory. This test took the car through a ditch filled to the brim with water. The situation we imagined was the unlikely event of a flood. Even in this deep ditch, the car could not get stuck part way through. This test studied the effects of salt. We repeatedly drenched the test car with the salt water and splattered anti-freezing compound on the road to check the effects. When winter comes in Japan, the development team heads for a test course at the country's northernmost point. This is the town of Bifuka in Hokkaido. It is an extremely cold place where they have recorded temperatures lower than 40 below. Various tests were conducted here in wintertime. The testing program ranged widely Aside from the givens of checking, drive performance on snow-packed roads and icy surfaces, we also checked brake performance, vehicle dynamics control, and X-mode performance. The effects of intense cold on the car, along with the snow sticking on the car when driving through slushy puddles. Our staff stayed through late spring until the snow melted confining themselves in turns to the test course and running through numerous tests. No matter what efforts are made to keep accidents from happening, the possibility of one occurring cannot be reduced to zero. Subaru has worked hard to develop technology to effectively absorb an impact from any direction and keep damage to a minimum to keep passengers and pedestrians safe in case of an accident. 
Subaru has been working on its own ever since the days when safety testing methods had yet to be established to independently create testing equipment and improve safety performance. The technology that has been produced as a result has been incorporated in the new Forester as well and has won high praise in many countries in recent years. We design cars based on the high safety performance targets we set and then conduct impact simulations. Those results are then incorporated in the design. Then, we conduct a structure investigation and check performance with real car tests, a process we ran through countless times. The performance improvements made in impact simulations in recent years have been remarkable. And we are now able to do structure analysis on computers to very high levels. Even so, Subaru still smashed up several hundreds of cars before the new Forester made its appearance. Why? The reason is, Subaru has numerous tests on its own program, assuming real-world accidents that are not included in the various national safety tests. Additionally, our standards are quite strict. For example, we check to see if the doors can still open even if the body is warped from an impact. Subaru's own standard imagines rescuing the occupants. Being meticulous about safety is the way that Subaru does things. What do you think? What you have seen is no more than just a part of what went into developing the new Forester. We ran various other tests and experiments on the new Forester in the course of its development to come up with a car that can be driven with confidence anywhere in the world. We are confident in the quality of the new Forester and encourage our customers to try it for themselves.